Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Is right now the right time to buy tech stocks? We're gonna find out in this video. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you and sponsored by Moomoo. Moo. They are the real MVPs by reaching out and sponsoring one of my videos. So I'm happy to announce that right now, if you click the link down in the description to sign up with Moomoo, you can receive free stocks if you deposit money into your Moomoo account. Right now, that is a special offer. It is one of the best offers they had to date. And I just wanna thank Moomoo one more time for sponsoring this channel. Uh, without sponsors like that, this channel will be very hard to run. So I wanna thank them again for having such an awesome platform if, and for reaching out to me so I can show you guys some new features that they have inside of their app that we're going to use today to find out if right now is the right time to invest into the tech industry and what strategies am I'm going to use in order to capitalize on these games. But before we move on to the movie app, make sure that you guys scroll down and hit that thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And also subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're a first time visitor to this channel welcome so enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers here we are on moomoo let's switch over to the markets tab right here and as you guys can see the features that we're going to be checking out is the heat list so they have a heat list or short sales a high dividend who we could take full advantage of that you guys know I love my dividends. And we also have the five minute chance to see if any stocks is going on a bull run. But let's take a look at the heat list right here. So let's click on that. And it's gonna show you all the top stocks that are hot right now. So if we take a look at the top 10, we got Tesla, Apple, AMD, um, DraftKings, Neo, Amazon, Coinbase, Snow, DoorDash, Microsoft. All of these are in the top 20, top 30 heat index on Moo Moo. So as you guys can see right now, if majority of the top hot stocks are technology companies, then there's money to be made from this. But it's right now a good time to buy. Well, let's take a look at what's going on in the world right now with the fallout of interest rates hiked by the Federal Reserve and the raising expectations of a global recession. The tech heavy NASDAQ composition index has fallen 24% since hitting a record high last November, while the S&P 500 has only fallen 14% over the same period. So let's take a look at QQQ, which is heavy inside of the technology sector. If we look at what has been happening over the last year, here we go, all the way back in January 2022, it was up to $402. And right now it's at $307 at the recording of this video, so down around 25%. On July 27th, the U.S. technology stock rebounded with the NASDAQ index raising 4.6% and also a number of different technology companies in the technology sector rose as well. But is that a sign for a bullish signal? Because right now, inflation is still one of the most important indicators. Interest rates hike can be expected to be an ongoing proposition this year. On June 22nd, Powell stated that it was necessary to keep inflation down by raising rates further and said that a recession was certainly possible. That means the stock market focus must be on the impacts of the Fed's rate hikes on earnings, which will ultimately determine whether the current stock market rally is supported. In retrospect, opportunities may present themselves while the market pulled back sharply. A sharp pullback in the market would allow high quality technology stocks to gradually return to more reasonable valuations. Given that greater ability to grow, technology stocks may be one of the biggest gainers of a rebound in the market. Investors may consider properly elongating the investment cycle, maintaining a medium to long-term investment horizon. All right, so right here on the heat index, let's look at number four, AMD. As you guys can see, over the last year, they had an all-time high of $161. They had the major pullback all the way down. They had a low of $73. That is the big pullback. That is the big dip, the quick, fast dip that we was looking for that brought AMD to more of a reasonable price, a better evaluation of the company so investors like us could get in at a sweet deal. Because remember, when prices are at their all-time highs to investors, that is more risky than investing into a good, high-quality company that is, that is doing the exact same thing that is pulling back to a more reasonable price. So when price is pulling back, um, new investors are gonna say, hey, this price is pulling back. 
I need to sell, I need to get out of this, this is not a good buy. But to smart investors, to a good quality company, when it pulls back, that is less risk for us than compared to investing at all time highs. So in the technology sector, just like AMD, investing into this company right now would be less risky for me. It has a greater chance of rebounding since um, technology companies have been having a better chance at re rebounding back to their old all time highs recently, then this could be a great opportunity for me. So my plan, here goes my plan for the future in these technology stocks. I'm going to dollar cost average into these stocks. If, if you guys don't know what dollar cost average is, that is that means I'm going to buy a share or two or I invest $100 a week into AMD. No matter what the price is, if the price goes up 5% one week, I'm going to invest $100. If the price pull back 10% in one week, I'm going to invest $100 because I do um, think that the technology sector is going to rebound sometime in the near future or over the next couple, two, three, four, five years. So if I continue to dollar cost average $100 every single week into the technology sector and continue to diversify my portfolio, then I do think that they're eventually going to reach their old all time highs over the next couple of years or so. So with me dollar cost averaging in right now, I'm not throwing in a lump sum right now and then it could potentially pull back some more tomorrow. I'm going to continue to evenly invest into um, AMD and other technology companies over a long period of time. And statistics has shown that if I continue doing this way, I will be successful in the long run. So if you guys want to follow that plan, go ahead down in the comment section and say, hey, dollar cost averaging is the way to go. Or if you don't agree with it, say, hey, no, I'm going to throw in a lump sum. I'm going to buy it all right now. And if you don't agree with that, just say, hey, down in the comment section, I'm not investing into the technology sector at all. And there you go, dreamers. I would like to thank Moomoo one more time for sponsoring this video. U using the heat list from their um, platform makes things very simple for me to find some of the top stocks that is going on in the industry that week, that month, that day. It's a quick, simple tap of the finger onto the platform to make everything so much simpler to find to help me become a better investor. Once again, if you guys would like to try out Moomoo, I left a link down in the comment section. You sign up the cost of $100. Do not miss miss out on that opportunity don't forget to follow me on instagram there's amazing things going on over there and hit the thumbs ups and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace